Hello there. Hi, uh, hi, uh, yeah. Um, Who are you? My name's Herbert. Um, I'm a student at the University of Portsmouth, yeah. All right, and how can I help you today, Herbert? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm applying for extra credit. Oh, um, I see. What course do you study? I, I study art, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, hey, how's it going, bro? You all right? Hey, yeah. This is, this is one of mine. Um, yeah, I drew the sea where I live. <laughs> yeah, bro. Have you got uh, any work for me? Oh, Boris, big, big... BJ said we were only allowed to do one exercise a day. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't do my training plan of one exercise a day. Man, I can't do that. Nah. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I was unable to do the brush strokes correctly. Um, I was very stressed over people dying, and no, I, I wasn't able to do it properly. Man, man, you gotta be kidding me! You, you're, you're just gonna give us the grades, right? You're, I'll you're just, just give you grades. You're not, you're not gonna give us, you're not gonna give us the grades. No. Hello, Stephen. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah. Did you finish your dissertation? Oh, uh, we just kind of assumed you'd give us the grades. To be fair, you get, you're gonna give, yeah, you're gonna give us the grades. Yeah, yeah. See, we knew, we knew that. Hey, hey, guy, hey, guys, he's not gonna give us the fucking grades. Yeah. Hiya! Hey Chris. Yeah. Um, Got any work for us? What do, what do you mean work? We, we do practicals. We do practicals in our lectures. Yeah, everyone, practicals! So Kieran, how did your dissertation go? Is it ready to mark? Oh, oh, I, I can do my work. I can do my work. Oh, why not? Oh, um, I caught a virus. Yeah, I caught a virus. Spencer, for the last time, photography is not a real degree. Yeah, it is. It is a real degree. It's not. We made it up as a joke one year. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You're giving everyone else grades. you, you got to give us grades, too. You can't just give some people grades. Don't waste my time. Just get out. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, this is such bollocks. And what are you wearing around your neck? It's my necklace. Are you sure? It's stylish. Your computer at home uh, caught a virus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have got to be joking me, right? You know what? the coronavirus is not a computer virus. Is it not? I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I have over one million followers on TikTok. I I started four challenges this summer. It was incredible. Our best summer of my life. I am so happy that university got cancelled. I am so happy. Hello, my friend. My name is Bok. You may remember me from every lecture I was in your class. I am sending you this message to confirm that my degree is in the post and I will be getting it soon or consequences will be applied with maximum efficiency. My country has cut off all communications to your country so there is no way of you ever contacting me. Goodbye. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do the handstand challenge for you. Um, my lecturers told me that if I do this challenge, I can get a first in my degree. So here we go, here we go. I have been in the lab trying to save your life for the last three months and this is what you're gonna do for me. Social distancing meant that we couldn't work together in a team and we couldn't go outside to do non-essential work such as filming. I have earned so much money from this, like, it's, it's been the best. And yeah, we couldn't rent any equipment from the university which we really needed. Um, yeah, there was literally no way we could have done our work. Hey, hey, you alright? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I've been fixing ventilators. Yeah. Um, you are just gonna give us the grades, right? Um, yeah, about that. You know? I have been volunteering ever since this started. I have been working my ass off for you, and I've saved your family's life. Sick. Your bloody granddad would not even be alive if it wasn't for me. Jesus Christ. And you're telling me I'm failing? I'm so happy. Um, I had shares in places you wouldn't even know about. Um, yeah, this has really been a great time for me and my family. <laughs> I'm so happy. What do you guys expect me to write about? I, I don't, I'm not interested in history anymore. We're living in history. Nothing is as interesting as what is going on right now in the world. I'll write about this when it's over. Yes! I, I was working on the front. I got drafted in by the NHS. I, I had to work. This is what... Oh, I see. I see how it's... Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you alright? How you doing? Niall, right? Yeah. Niall, yes. It's Niall. How you doing? Please, you don't understand. My family will absolutely hang me if you don't give me the top grade. Oh, I'm alright. Um, 
just getting on really. It's been a tough time for the world. Um, yeah, a few of my family members who got the virus. Um, it's not really been the best of time for me, to be honest. Can, can, do you take PayPal, um, Cash App? I personally believe that if the university put in a policy when this all started, then no one would have had any stress. I, I don't know. I will send. I'll send you any money. Just please give me the grade, please. We can negotiate on this, right? This is negotiable. No, it's not. No, it's not. Please, 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 please. Everyone just gets the grades that they're currently on, and if they want to push or they feel like they can push their grade, then that's great. They can hand in more work. But if for some reason or no reason at all they just can't do it. Then that's fine. Everyone's dying. Glastonbury to Chowler to Watama Ida Gwenshin. You need to open your eyes. There's so much more important things going on right now. Look at the bigger picture. You hear about work? Yeah, I've done all my work. Yeah. Wait. So if you've done all your work, why are you here? Oh, um, I just I've seen a lot of people signing petitions and complaining about not being able to do their work, and I understand it completely. Um, I was wondering if you would put a no-detriment policy in for my class too. Wait, you've done all your work, but you still want a no-detriment policy? Yeah, um, I don't need one at all, really. I'm, I'm pretty confident in all my work. I've got my work done. I kind of push for it. But there's a lot of people in my class that the thought of millions of people possibly dying kind of stressed them out a bit. <laughs> yeah, um, living in a global pandemic is... Um, it's a bit stressful, you know, you, you never know what's going to happen, you don't even know if university is going to be on next year. And yeah, it's uh, last year for a lot of people in my class. Um, our graduation has obviously been cancelled, which sucks. Um, but no, and no detriment policy would really, really help because it would just take away so much stress that really isn't needed right now. Like, you've got people in intensive care. I don't know anyone that hasn't been affected by this virus it's um hard so yeah i i'm just i'm just here to put in my word and say i really hope you guys at the university put in a no detriment policy because a lot of people are different a lot of people will find their own unique way of portraying why they need a no detriment policy but it does affect people in every way um yeah that's what i want to make this video about guys if you want to subscribe that's chill and yeah see you guys in the next video